What's up everybody? Uh, September 14th here. I'm in the Bobcat S205. I'm gonna show you, it's kinda jerking around on me on my phone. I'm gonna show you how I load the Bobcat. Um, right or wrong, this is how I do it. Um, for those that are gonna critique me, um, I've even been curious because I've tried to research the topic on terms of tie downs and uh, I had one of my troop, the troopers, state troopers that I work with send it to a commercial vehicle inspector how I tie it down and uh, the commercial vehicle inspector said based on the pictures I sent them it looked good so I'm not, this machine's light I think if I were over 10,000 pounds on this machine I'd have to have four uh, binders but I only have to have two being that it's a lighter machine you like my outdo? I'm in like t-shirt and athletic shorts and my and my and my little like sandal things here. Um, I worked last night overnight, so 6 p.m. last night or 7 p.m. did I start it to 6 a.m. this morning, and then uh, I came home and I showered. I got dressed in my uh, uniform with a tie, polished boots and everything, and uh, I, I I didn't go to bed. I went straight up to the funeral for the YZ Minnesota police officer that was killed on Friday. Um, he was hit by a car by a lady that should have never been driving in the first place. <clears throat> she, uh, and it sounds like she had some drugs in her system, so I'm not gonna say too much about it, but it does piss me off. Um, I should point out before I crawl on there, so maybe, right on the corners of my tra the trailer there, I got jack stands down. What that does is so that the whole pickup doesn't come off the ground and slam down. I also have my parking brake on in my truck. And what that does is to uh, help take some of the push of the machine off of the, uh, make sure I'm lined up. Now I bring the bucket back down, I curl it forward to help my weight get across. Uh, but what the, the parking brake does in my mind is it takes some of the the slop up, but you said instead of the, you know, right now, believe it or not, you can't really see it. I'm trying to go as smooth as possible. The more you start and stop, the worse it's going to be, but you are jerking the truck forward and backward. So I try to keep it as centered as possible. Um, and what I'm going to do here, I know I have to be further up here, somewhere's in here. So I take, I have to take the jack stands up on the back, okay? Um, to so that the truck takes all the weight oh. so that the truck takes all the weight because I have a scale on my truck hitch and I want to know what I was always taught is 10 to 15 percent of your overall trailer weight should be on your tongue the skid loader weighs about 6,000 to 6,500 pounds add in the trailer I generally try to have around 800 pounds to 900 pounds of tongue weight on my truck, eight, 800 or so, um, so that I know I don't won't uh, you don't have too much, but then you won't if you don't have enough, you're really screwed. So right now, I'm actually at uh, 750, so I'm about perfect. I might inch forward just a couple, just an inch. But I'm about perfect. You can see there's a paint mark. Maybe you can't. A sharpie mark for my bucket. Um, I have to bring. The pallet forks are coming because we're bailing big squares. So, in order to load up the big squares in the field, obviously we need forks. There, I'm happy with that. That's 800 or 850. I'm happy with that. Plus, I take it easy. I'm not going to drive like a rape tape. <laughs> Just going to make sure my forks are settled down a little bit on the deck there. Turn my air conditioning off. It is still about 80, 85 degrees today. So, yeah, I, I went up to that funeral on basically no sleep. And, um, well, actually, literally no sleep after my shift so right now i'm about 30 hours awake we were gonna bail tonight and something happened so now we're not bailing tonight luckily but i'm loading because allegedly the 8120 has left wisconsin
the trucking outfit is gonna drive halfway tonight, stop, sleep for his hours on his log, and then he's gonna um, drive the rest of the way in the morning. So hopefully he'll be here first thing. So what I usually do here, So I bind her through, I put it through so my hooks are pulled in and they're pulling against it so they can't jiggle out easy. And then uh, I just tighten these up. I usually have some difficulty with the binders because this likes to pull funny here. Here, I got it. But just getting them started is always the hardest part. So yeah, I, uh, the funeral was very humbling. See, I got a little water, uh, my air conditioner's dripping. Uh, the, the funeral was very humbling. He was 47 years old, and he has a seven-year-old kid that was at the funeral, and a wife, and all of his family and friends and coworkers, and it's messed up. It is messed up. So, I'm uh, gonna load this up, tie it down, and I'm done for the night. I need to get some sleep before tomorrow's gonna be a big day of bailing, and Getting that tractor unloaded. And what else are we gonna do? And maybe work on that grain bin some more probably, I guarantee. So. Oh, it's so close. I just wanna get one more bite out of this. But I don't want it to come apart like it's just. There we go. The other thing, when you're doing these things, you gotta have the front one hooked up to it because you literally can slide the machine on the deck uh, before that, and then it'll tighten all the way up. But if you get the front one tight, they'll pull against each other and they'll lock up before you run out of binder. Let's see. How do I wanna do this for? I like the, um, I like my uh, the the ratchet binders, and for the reason that I don't want to eat uh, those flip down binders, I don't want to eat that to the face. I see some messed up pictures if you go look those things up. From guys taking those to the face. Oh boy! I want to go over here so I can come back over the forks. all the way to the front. We'll see. Let's we'll see if this pulls it down. No, I'm not going to have enough deck to do that. And I like to pull evenly. So. So yeah, I'm looking forward to showering up here and getting some sleep. Other than that, I don't know anything else, guys, because we're going to be ramping up big time for harvest here. Let's see here. Oops. Let's see if this will pull tight. Now it's starting to tighten up. Now I go back and forth and I snug them up. I really hope you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. You can see the machine's getting pulled down now. So it's it's tight over here. Let's check the front side here. I should be wearing gloves.
Then I do I'll make sure it pulled through if there's any kinks in the chain. And I gotta stow my ramps in the side. And I'm done. Yeah, that's tight. I'll go a little more, like one or two cranks back here and about three or four in the front. Gotta have four points of contact though. There. And usually what I do, there's not a lot of extra chain, but sometimes there is for whatever you find down. It looks like I got a knot. How did that happen? Boys, what happened? I just loop it back through the handle somehow, but I got a mess in itself right there. I, gotta, I should have undone that. I always leave them on the Titan mode, and I flip them down to the deck. The reason I leave them on the Titan mode, it's not obvious, but if it's not obvious to you, that way they can only tighten themselves. They can't loosen the load. want to secure your chain so it doesn't fling off and drag or hit somebody so there it is the bobcat is secured the pallet forks are locked down as well by having the chain go over the top so if they were to come disconnected for some ungodly reason they're locked on if you start going up and over you're going to damage your bob tatch in my opinion there's probably a way to do it but um, I usually haul it with the bucket on. I generally don't haul this with the forks, pellet forks on. So we don't have bale spears, so this will do. And uh, I'll take videos. Um, I will take videos tomorrow if we're bailing, picking the bales up. And uh, we'll go from there and maybe take a video. That, well, I will take a video of the new tractor if I'm there when it shows up. And uh, yeah, but. I've been up for 30 hours and you stop you stop thinking straight and you're, you start talking like you're drunk almost. The last hour it's really hit me at home here. I was doing fine at the funeral and driving up there and drove in the procession and I was fine but I'll tell you what, this last hour I've, somebody called me for a question because they're going to school for law enforcement and I knew what I wanted to say but I couldn't think of the words I wanted to say and almost like I was talking gibberish a little bit <laughs> so I know sleep is important but it was important to me to go show support to the family of of his family so I'm glad I went to to the funeral so but uh make sure you guys are seeing it on the video 13 minutes holy smokes that's not terribly long but it's long enough Killer, killer Crocs. No, they're like keen sandal things. Real safe, safety enthusiast tonight, guys, huh? So I'm taking this thing first thing in the morning out to the bin site. Work on the bin and the tractor, and it's going to heat up to like 90 again tomorrow. Naturally, you got to be baling hay when it's 90. And um, we'll be baling hay in the afternoon, hauling a few loads here one or two loads here and then the rest of it's going to go to the custom operator for using his equipment to bale the fields so yeah i'm done here i'm going to shut up my truck and i'm going to back it in the shed for the night so thanks for watching guys we'll check you later